getting my degree in psychology. So my ultimate goal is to attend grad school and be able to become a school counselor. The pandemic has kind of opened everybody's eyes to the lack of mental health resources that's available. Um, and reservations usually are lack of everything. And I, where I grew up, um, it felt like you had nowhere to turn. And the suicide rate is so high among teenagers on reservations. And I lost one of my good friends that way. And so she just felt like she had nowhere to go. And I would just, I would like to be a person that someone can turn to when they feel like that. So COVID has impacted um, my studies. For a while, we were just completely remote online. Um, I actually did have COVID um, last semester, so I had to quarantine. Uh, some, some professors were very adaptable with it, while some um, just kind of, you had to deal with what you had. Um, and right now, this semester, I have a like a mix of the two. I have some in person and I have some classes that are going remote. Uh, it, the remote ones are a little harder for me. Um, I like to be in the classroom. I didn't go home and see my family for a while just because I was afraid. My parents live right next door to my grandparents. So that was a little fearful for me um, until everybody got their vaccinations back home and I felt a little more safer going back and seeing the rest of my family. So that was a little hard for me. I got it in October and I didn't go home until Christmas break to see them. I think the hardest part about the quarantine was we still had to keep up in everything. Tests, um, being on Zoom for classes. Um, and it was hard because it was like around midterms of that semester. So we still had exams to take. And it was just difficult trying to study while still experiencing the symptoms and everything. When I first moved away, I went back like every other weekend just because I I needed that contact with my family just to try to ease myself away. Um, I didn't want to just completely pull away and separate myself. Um, and on the academic aspect, uh, we did not have as many resources and you know sometimes the teachers back home didn't um, weren't as knowledgeable as they should have been in the subjects that they were teaching so to come here and just the academic workload that I had my first year especially being a biology major um, it was a lot it was difficult um, because back home I really I hate to say it, but I didn't have to try so hard. But here, um, I definitely had to change the way that I went about my student life academically. Uh, but especially in the science classes, there was a lack of women, first of all, and then there was a lack of women of color. Um, there was maybe me and in some of my classes, me and maybe another another woman of color in there. Um, most were men, so it's just kind of hard to look around and try to find another woman, but oh, another woman of color. 